Hi, in this video we'll be covering inspector comments and footnotes. In Scrivener 1, if I wanted to make an annotation or comment, it would have to go in line. The same for footnotes. The options are still obviously available in Scrivener 2, and when I compile as RTF and open the output in Word, the annotation is made into a proper comment and the footnote is displayed correctly. Scrivener 2 introduces a full comment system. If I select a word in the text and press the comment icon, I can make an associated comment in the inspector. I can simply create another, and if I bring up the colour panel, I can give the comment whatever colour I wish. Footnotes work in a similar way. If you use footnotes a lot, by going to View, Customise Toolbar, you can bring in a dedicated icon if you like or you can press this button here. You can collapse the comment and footnote fields in the inspector if you want to. I prepared a few comments and footnotes in another document earlier. If I'm not showing comments and footnotes in my inspector, it doesn't really matter as the obvious comments and footnotes within the document become links. I can just select a link and the comment or footnote instantly becomes available. A nice thing is that this also works in reverse. As you can see, I can use the actual comments and footnotes as bookmarks, taking me to the relevant area in the document text. If I open a couple of documents using Edit Scrivenings, the associated comments and footnotes are combined. This is where the power of the bookmarking feature comes in really handy. If I compile again, selecting both documents to be included, you can see that the comments and footnotes are appropriately placed within the Word document. So, that was an introduction to inspector comments and footnotes. Hope to see you again soon.